I got a pretty good collection of handheld consoles, but in today's video I want to show you which are the 3 main consoles that I cannot live without. So before we go ahead with this video, I want to let you know that the Steam Deck and the ROG Ally and Nintendo Switch, so all the newer consoles are not part of this video, because of course I use those ones daily actually. But I want to talk about the more not necessarily retro because there are also some fewer models that I use daily. But these are consoles that are not in production anymore. But even so, I really enjoy using them a lot. So that's why I wanted to make this video because I know that you guys have been asking about my collections because I have featured it in some shorts before. And there are a few that I really use almost daily. And I cannot really recommend enough these three consoles that I will be featuring today. Right, so starting off, I think this is a bit more obvious for those of you who have been following this channel. You know that I'm a big, big fan of the PlayStation Vita. So... This console has been a dream for me because I didn't have it when I was a child and I struggled quite a lot getting this model and this is the 1000 version, the OLED one and it also has a SIM card. I got this, I think it was two years ago, completely in box, really good condition, it's almost mint for a couple of uh, scratches here and there, but the display is still amazing and I enjoyed using this console a lot ever since I got it and it's still part of my collection, it's still a part of my backpack actually i take it everywhere with me even on the plane i still use it i do get the switch or the rog ally with me from time to time but uh, this is a lot more portable and i really enjoy uh, playing on this console and that's why i actually went ahead and bought a second one and this is the 2000 model so the slimmer one and uh, even though it doesn't have the oled screen to be honest i like how this feels it's lighter uh, it has a micro usb pretty absolute as well but uh, it's more standard and you can easily find a cable for that one so this is an amazing console and i really hope that sony will make another version of this one so far we got the playstation portal i know that a lot of us aren't happy but a dedicated handle device from sony it's a dream that i really hope that we will have a new version of a PSP 3 or a PS Vita 2 or I don't know. Why I enjoy this console? Well, first of all, it's Sony console. I'm a big fan of the Sony first party titles. And there are some really good titles on these two devices like the Uncharted, Golden Abyss, Call of Duty, Gravity Rush and so many good others. So that's the first reason why I enjoy using these devices. But then it's about the games because this is a follow up to the PSP, which a lot of people enjoy, myself included. I like more the ergonomics on the PS Vita. I like that it has two thumbsticks and the best thing about it you can actually play PSP games on this one and that is officially you can download them from the store there are a few that are missing of course but most of them are here and you can play those games but you can also put a bunch of different other games and uh, then this console becomes a lot more useful and you, you can even get the games that were released on the mini pocket station and if you're not aware about that mini device it's a PS1 PS2 memory card that also has a screen and there were a bunch of little games, little titles here and there that you can put on that small device. And you can actually put those games uh, on this device as well. So basically, this little device has all the games that Sony released for the portable console. Next, moving again to an obvious one and uh, for sure you saw this coming. This is the Nintendo 3DS and I have the new model and this is the new uh, 3ds xl and if you do want to get a nintendo 3ds i actually recommend getting this one i have a bunch of different ones i have the original 3ds i have the 2ds the standard one the, that doesn't have a clamshell uh, but if you planning on getting one device then this is the one i recommend getting well this or maybe the non-excel version but especially in europe it's a bit more tricky to find because it wasn't released here you can still find them on ebay or some other stores so uh, that one is a bit smaller if you have smaller hands uh, then that can also be a good version and actually that one has uh, swappable plates and as you can see this one has uh, a pokemon version and these aren't plates this is just a case that you put uh, on top because my model is actually the orange one i like this color a lot and I put this on top of them so the plates weren't removed. For the non-XL version, you can actually swap out those plates and put some uh, really cool ones. But as I said, this is the version that I recommend. It can play all the titles and it has more power than the regular 3DS. The 3D if you want to use that one. And actually I quite enjoy it a lot. Uh, but it's way better than the original model. It has more power, as I said, so this can play a couple of extra games that were released only for the new uh, 3DS versions. And best of all, it also can play the 
DS games because the slot is compatible so you can plug in here the regular DS games with the 3DS of course as well so this can play different generation titles and the e-store even though it closed down contained a lot of different games and all the titles so at the time this was an amazing console unfortunately the store were closed so you cannot buy the games anymore from uh, nintendo but you can still find quite a lot of sealed 3ds cartridges so i still buy some from time to time but again you can do so much with this device wink wink so you can put so many good titles on this one not necessarily for the 3ds but officially you can play both 3DS but also some DS titles. So this is what I like about Nintendo because at least in the past they cared about backwards compatibility so you can get more titles and you can still play your old games on the newer version and that's why the 3DS XL was compatible with the DS games. And uh, yeah, I mean look at it. This is such an amazing looking device and the clamshell it was something unique and uh, who knows maybe we will see something like that in the future maybe like an Nintendo Switch 2 who knows. Yeah, I'm not getting my hopes up uh, but uh, yeah look at it. It's an amazing looking device and uh, the idea of a clamshell two screen device was really something different at the time. If you like to have different consoles in your collection, I really recommend getting the 3DS. So if you have a handheld collection, the 3DS, it's a must. I really recommend getting this one. And for the last console, it's a bit more tricky and I'll explain uh, why I chose this one. To put it simple, it's the Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP. Uh, this is quite beat up, uh, as you can see, it's scratched up, but I like to keep the consoles as original as I can. If I get different models, then sure, I can swap the shell, but uh, this is the only model that I have for these four factors, so this is the only uh, SP that I got. So I kept it as original and this isn't even the 101 uh, so it's only front lip screen. So nostalgic. But I still use it very often and the reason why I chose this one on top of all the different uh, consoles that I have in my collection it's one key aspect. As you know probably by now you can play both the original Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance games. I have over here some Pokemon uh, cards. So this model can play both of these ones. So again, for me, it goes down to backwards compatibility because you can play two generation of games on the same device. So like I did with the 3DS, this is the key aspect for me. And actually, even for the PS Vita, a key aspect was that you can also play the PSP games on it. So that's why I chose this time again the SP because of the backwards compatibility. And you can play both of these titles and a lot more, of course, on the small device like this. And again, I have something uh, about clamshells and uh, this was quite unique. I know it's not the most beautiful one they compared it to other titles, pretty boxy, especially when it's closed down. Uh, but this device is so nostalgic for me and the cost that you can play both of those titles, I cannot recommend this enough. And actually I have a small bonus and it goes uh, a bit in line with the Advanced SP. It's something that I built myself and I'm really proud of. And I'm actually using this, which is the, well, let's call it Game Boy Macro. This is actually a Nintendo DS Lite torn in half. I got this uh, from a friend. The top screen wasn't working anymore. Uh, I couldn't fix it. But then I decided, why should I make a Game Boy Macro? If I want to have as many consoles as possible in my collection, I had to have this one as well. And actually, this is made out of two broken DS Lights. As you can see, we have the pink and the white over here then i put just something plain over here a uh, wooden pencil that has a mania on it i don't know why i chose that but i liked it uh, there are a few other modifications that you can do to it you can remove the hinge altogether and uh, you can put a good frame there are manufacturers out there that actually are selling specifically design frames for the game boy macro but i liked how it looks like uh, this is something that i made myself so i'm really happy to have it and uh, yeah, as I said, this is just the Nintendo DS Lite torn in half. And this is still functional because with a bit of soldering, you can still use the bottom half of the console and you can still play Game Boy Advance games. So games like the Pokemon Emerald that I have over here, 
we can slide it in, we go straight into the game. So with a bit of work and it's not that complicated, I think this was the first time that I ever saw something. So if I could do it, probably you can do it better than I do. So yeah, this is actually the best screen on which you can play original cartridges from the Game Boy Advance era. And even though this plays both uh, cartridges, both generations, whenever I want to play a Game Boy Advance game, I usually go to this one. So in the end, you can have three consoles that can play six generations of games, maybe even more if you want to. But out of the box, these three consoles have backwards compatibility and you can play the other titles that came before. So this is just my personal preference, but I think the reasons why I chose these ones are more than good. If you want to start building a handheld collection, I actually recommend starting with these ones. To be fair, out of all my handhelds uh, that I have in my collection, these two are the more expensive ones, but these are actually newer models, so the prices haven't gone down too much. But if you can find these two, especially for a good price, then I really recommend getting one. These are my personal preference. Let me know what you think, do you agree with the reasons for choosing these ones? And if you had to choose on owning just three retro handheld devices, which are the ones that you would choose for your collection or you can recommend uh, to others? I'm really curious what's your opinion on this, so drop a comment down below and I'd love to hear it from you. Well, that's it for this video, hope you enjoyed rambling a bit about these consoles. This is just a personal video that I want to make because I really enjoy using these consoles, so hope you enjoyed it, drop a like if you did. Uh, and I'll continue on making videos, but that's it for now. Thank you for watching. This is the Dakar Rabble, and I'll catch you in the next one.